Triassic is a geological period and system that extends from about 251 to 199 million years ago. As the first period of the Mesozoic era, the Triassic follows the Permian and is followed by the Jurassic. Both the start and the end of the Triassic are marked by mass extinctions. The extinction that closed the Triassic period has recently been more accurately dated, but as with most older geological periods, the rock beds that define the beginning and the end are well identified, but the exact dates of the period are uncertain by a few million years. During the Triassic, almost all the Earth's landmass is concentrated into a single supercontinent centered more or less on the equator, called Pangaea, meaning all the land. From the east, a vast gulf entered Pangaea, the Tethys Sea. It opened farther westward in the mid-Triassic at the expense of the shrinking Paleo-Tethys Ocean, an ocean that existed during the Paleozoic. Thus, the remaining shores were surrounded by the world ocean known as Panthalasa, meaning all the sea. All the deep ocean sediments laid down during the Triassic have disappeared through subduction of oceanic plates. Thus, very little is known of the Triassic Open Ocean. The Triassic climate was generally hot and dry, forming typical red bed sandstones and evaporites. There is no evidence of glaciation at or near either pole. In fact, the polar regions were apparently moist and temperate, a climate suitable for reptile-like creatures. Pangaea's large size limited the moderating effect of the global ocean. Its continental climate was highly seasonal, with very hot summers and cold winters. It probably had strong cross-equatorial monsoons. What caused this late Triassic extinction is not known with certainty. It was accompanied by huge volcanic eruptions that occurred as the supercontinent Pangaea began to break apart about 202 to 191 million years ago, forming the Central Atlantic Magmatic Province, one of the largest known inland volcanic events since the planet cooled and stabilized. Other possible but less likely causes for the extinction events include global cooling or even an asteroid impact. These extinctions within the Triassic and at its end allowed the dinosaurs to expand into many niches that had become unoccupied. Dinosaurs became increasingly dominant, abundant, and diverse, and remained that way for the next 150 million years. The true age of dinosaurs is the Jurassic and Cretaceous, rather than the Triassic.